I'll be showing you how to customize the product title size in the Shopify DOM theme. It's going to require some custom bit of code here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. So let's start things off here from the Shopify dashboard. So we'll navigate to online store on the left hand side, and this should open up the theme section automatically. Now from there, before we make any code changes, I'm always going to recommend you duplicate the current version of your theme. This is going to make it super easy if you make any mistakes along the way and makes it super easy just to restore a previous version of the theme rather than having to try to figure out what you may have removed or have done wrong. On these three dots here, you're just going to click them and then click on duplicate theme. It's going to create an exact copy. You can even rename it here by clicking the three dots again. Next, I'm going to open up a preview just so we can see what it currently looks like. So what I did is I clicked on view your store in the top right hand side. Now this is just my store theme here. I want to click on an example product. We can currently see this is what the font size looks like, but I'll be showing you now how to change it and we can make it bigger or smaller if desired. So if we navigate back to our theme section, we're gonna hover over those three dots again. And then from there, I'm gonna click the three dots, then click edit code. This is gonna open up the code editor for my Shopify theme. And what we're gonna do is add a custom piece of CSS or styling code that's gonna make it super easy to edit the product title and not change the font size of anything else. So we're going to search for a specific file here. It's called base.css and you can find it in the top left hand search bar and it should be under our assets folder. So from there, I'm going to open up this CSS file. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here as this is where we're going to add our new code. So I'm going to make some room and then I'm going to zoom in a little more just so we can see what I'm writing here. And so you want to copy this code exactly. So it's going to be period product underscore underscore title h1 and when I had a opening curling bracket and a closing curling bracket and within here we're going to write our font size so it's going to be font dash size semicolon and then we're going to write it right here so it's going to depend it's probably going to be easiest if you just put 24 pixels to start so 24 px and then we'll see what that looks like and then we can make some adjustments from there so again i'll zoom in here feel free to pause the video so you can copy this code exactly because unfortunately i'm not able to paste it in the youtube video description so i'm going to click save and then i'm going to go to to my Shopify store and I'm going to reload the page and we can see how that looks. So if I reload it, it is quite small. So it's going to be much larger than 24 pixels here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this to 46. Now then there's probably going to be some experimentation by just changing the font size, reloading it, and you can see how it looks here. I made this quite a bit larger and it's going to depend what you're looking for. If you're looking to increase the size or decrease it, you can just make those manual adjustments by adjusting this number amount here, not the PX as that stands for pixels, but just changing this until you get the desired product title size that you're looking for for your Shopify Dawn theme. So just like that, we've edited the product title size. Again, you can go up or down with the font size depending what you're looking for to match the aesthetic of your Shopify theme. If you've ever generated any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. There's your ad spend, your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, your Shopify app fees. There's a ton of different costs that go into running an e-commerce store. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can see how profitable you are in just one click. It's going to include all your detailed metrics that you need, as well as many different cost of goods sold options, and it syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as Bing, so you can get all of your costs into one place. There's a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything out for yourself, and there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left here. If you've ever generated any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. There's your ad spend, your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, your Shopify app fees. There's a ton of different costs that go into running an e-commerce store. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. 
It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can see how profitable you are in just one click. It's going to include all your detailed metrics that you need as well as many different cost of goods sold options and it syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok as well as Bing so you can get all of your costs into one place. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything out for yourself and there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left here. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.